Hello everyone, welcome to Kavi's Corner. Today let me start with reading Psalm 36 verses 5 to 7. It really inspired me. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies, your righteousness is like the mighty mountain, your justice like the deep. O Lord, you preserve both man and beast. How priceless is your unfailing love. Both high and low among men find refuge in the shadow of your wings. Hello everyone, welcome to Kavi's Corner. Today is Friends Friday, the first Friday of every month that I go to my friend's home and we cook up a storm. Today I'm headed to my friend Melanie's home and my friend Fatima is also there and we're going to make some steamy delights. These are traditional steamed um, dishes that are made from rice flour. So we have kurkate or steamed dumpling, spring hoppers. We are making two different kinds, white and the brown and we have appam. So let's make all these delicacies which are steamed in the most traditional way and I'll also teach you a modern way. And these spring hoppers are basically made out of rice flour and there's two different kinds, the red and the white and both are simple how to make the dough. We just use rice flour, the water and salt, mix it to make a nice stiff dough it should be soft and pliable at the same time and for idiapam we are going to add hot water instead of cold water and add a teaspoon of oil so our dough is ready it's nice and fluffy and soft and see how easy it is to just mold it and we have a traditional muruku shooter this is found in the indian store and it comes with multiple plates or discs that we use interchangeably for different dishes Today we are using for the string hoppers and this is very fine so it may be difficult to wring out the dough but the consistency of your dough is very important. Look how easy my friend Melanie makes it. So smooth and easy. Just typical wrist movement to go in circles and these wicker baskets are found online. These are basically for idiapam. You can check online and say idiapam or string hopper maker and you will find both these gadgets, the wicker baskets as well as the muruku shooter. And uh, once you're done wringing it all up on these discs or these trays, you are ready to steam them. So we made two different kinds as I told you with red rice flour and the white one. So this is a wok or a kadai that we call in India with a mesh at the bottom to just balance out and uh, give a stability to the baskets and we poured water. We're going to create steam right now and make sure you have a nice snug lid for this purpose and our friend Melanie just started stacking them up neatly and gently and none of them got disturbed or smushed. As you can see, we almost accommodate about six to nine of these baskets. And then we put on a tight snug lid. Make sure no steam escapes. I had to double check and close them tight. And steam it about seven minutes. Seven to nine or ten minutes. And look at that. It's all done. So now we're going to remove it. I thought it will fall, but... In our excitement, we totally forgot to grease our trays. You have to either use plain oil or a cooking spray to grease them. So it will all fall easy and neatly. But today we had a little troubleshooting of our own. But excuse us. So once that is done, we went on to making our appam. But I've already posted an appam recipe. Please go check it out on all my videos. It is very simple, same rice flour and a little bit of urad dal and you have to let it ferment and froth over. And this was done, we just set it aside and went on to our kurukate. This dough is little different than the idiapam or string hopper one because this has hot water instead of cold water. And you add a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of oil or ghee. This has to be nice and soft and pliable so it doesn't crack. And see how gently my friend Fatima is making these. This takes special motor skills. She was very patient with them. And they always make different shapes and sizes. And we also get molds for these purposes. But today we just hand roll them. 
later I got to steam them in a steaming basket in a rice cooker. A regular rice cooker was used today and we used a muslin cloth lined steaming basket. Just stacked up all the kurukates and this muslin cloth has to be damp. And we're going to put it on top of our steamer. This is basically the regular rice cooker with water underneath. We put a tight snug lid and turn it on and let it steam for 10 to 12 minutes. And once the kurukate is turned trans uh, opaque to translucent, your kurukate are done. So now it's time to serve up all that we cooked so far. And these delicacies are so delicious. We layered them up on a banana leaf. Our kurukate, our string hopper, our appam, and we enjoyed it with some vegetable stew and chicken curry. It goes very well with just plain sweetened coconut milk, but all these options are there. So, like, share, and subscribe to Kavi's Corner. And a very big thank you to Melanie and Fatima for their contribution. And keep watching my videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.